we're going to begin talking about sets. And before we apply this to mathematics, let's just talk about what a set is to begin with. So I have a picture here, and this picture is a set of ice cream bowls and spoons. So a set is just a, a well-defined collection of objects. So other things that you think of, you know, let's, let's just think about the word set for a minute. I mean, you know, we have sets of dishes, um, you have sets of, of CDs, you have a um, set of silverware at home. Um, there are all kinds of things that we talk about sets all the time and it literally is just a collection of objects. Now within this set here that we have the picture of the ice cream, uh, ice cream bowls and spoons, each one of the items inside this set is called an element. So we have this green spoon here, that's an element. The green bowl here is another element. So actually inside this set there are eight elements. Okay, we have two different ways of writing sets and talking about those elements. The first way is called the roster method. And with the roster method we actually list out each element in our set and we use braces around it to identify that it is a set. So, for instance, here I have an example and I said the set A is equal to 1, 2, and 3. These are the three numbers inside this set. I know that this is a set because of the braces around it. Now, each one of the items inside the set are listed out. That's why it's called the roster method. If I were to list out my um, ice cream bowls here, then I might say that this set is a, a green bowl. I'll just put GB for green bowl. And a green spoon. And a yellow bowl. Uh, my pen's not working very well. And a yellow spoon. And a pink bowl. And a pink spoon and an orange bowl and an orange spoon. That's okay. It's still the roster method when we list out each and every individual item or element that is contained in a set. Now, another way of writing it is called the set builder method. And this set builder method works out very nicely whenever we're talking about mathematics. Um, it's writing a rule which describes the members of a set. So for instance, here we have an example that says that the set A is, this means the set of, remember the braces is set notation, so this is the set of, this X means all X's or all numbers, and then the bar here is such that. And then we have our rule, which is from here to here. This is our rule. So in this case, this would read the set of all x's such that x is a number between 0 and 4. So this is kind of a generic way of writing it. Now if we were going to write this exact same thing using the roster method, it looks like this set up here. These are the numbers between 0 and 4. Larger than 0, but smaller than 4. That's what between means. So two different ways of writing the exact same thing. Let's do an example here together. This one says, write the set using set builder and the roster method of the set described. So we want to write the set of all even digits. Let's do the roster method first. So I'll just put an R for roster method because I'm going to run out of time here. Remember, we have to use braces to mean the set of, and we're going to list out each one of the items. Roster method is listing. So the set of all even digits would be 2, 4, 6, 8, and those would be our even numbers. For set builder notation, again we'd have to have braces for set. This would be the set of all x's such that, now we have to write the rule, and the rule is x is a set of all even